Suresh Tatar, a system professor in the chemical engineering department of LJIT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the mass transfer operation 1. So, let's start. Chapter name is crystallization and topic is material balances in crystallizer. So, you can see on the screen material balance of crystallizer. So, you can see on the screen this is nothing but material balances for crystallizer. We know that crystallization means solidification of the atoms or molecules in a highly structured manner that is nothing but crystals. So, you can see on the screen now this is the block diagram for crystallization operation. There is a one inlet stream and three outlet streams. That inlet stream is nothing but feed solution to be crystallized and outlet streams are nothing but evaporated solvent that is represented by capital V. After that mother liquor that is represented by capital L and crystals that is nothing but our requirement of this operation that is represented by capital C. Material balances are very important in crystallization operation to calculate yield of the crystallization operation. So, you can see material balances are used to calculate the yield of crystallization operation which is the mass of crystal obtained from a given mass of the solution. So, these are nothing but notations we are going to use in crystallization operation or I can say material balances over the crystallization operation. So, first one is nothing but capital F. Capital F be the mass flow rate of the feed solution that is given in the kg per hour. Second one is XF dash. This is nothing but weight fraction or I can say mass fraction. So, XF dash is nothing but it is the weight fraction of anhydrous solute in the feed solution. Anhydrous solute means there is no presence of the water. After that capital C. Capital C be the kg per hours of the crystals obtained and this is the outlet stream of the crystallizer. After that capital V. Capital V be the mass flow rate of the evaporated solvent that is given in the kg per hour. After that X dash. This X dash is nothing but solubility of the solute in the solvent that is given in this form. You can see on the screen X dash be the solubility of the solute at a final temperature of the operation expressed as weight ratio of anhydrous salt to the solvent. So, M is nothing but molecular weight of the substance. So, in this case M1 is nothing but molecular weight of the anhydrous salt and M2 is nothing but molecular weight of the hydrated salt. I told you anhydrous salt means there is the absence of water and hydrated salt means there is the presence of water. After that L dash. L dash is nothing but it is the kg per hour of the solvent in the mother liquor and L is nothing but kg per hour of the mother liquor leaving the crystallizer. So, all these notations we are going to use in the material balance over the crystallizer. Now, we will see how to take material balance over the crystallization operation. So, you can see on the screen this is the figure for crystallization operation. Here one inlet stream and three outlet streams are present. First one is nothing but feed solution that is nothing but inlet stream for the crystallization. After that there are three outlet stream. First one is nothing but evaporated solvent and that is represented by capital V. Second one is a mother liquor that is represented by capital N and third one is a crystals obtained that is represented by capital C. Now we will take overall material balance over this crystallization unit. So you can see on the screen overall material balance is nothing but capital F is equal to C plus L plus V. Means inlet stream is equal to outlet streams. Inlet stream is nothing but capital F is equal to addition of all outlet streams that is a C plus L plus V. That is nothing but flow rates of the inlet stream and outlet streams. After that now we will take component balance that is nothing but material balance of the solvent. After that we will take material balance for the solute. Now we will see material balance of the solvent in a crystallization unit. So you can see on the screen according to material balance for the solvent, solvent in feed is equal to solvent evaporated plus solvent in mother liquor plus solvent in hydrated crystals. Okay. So, just put the notations here F in bracket 1 minus XF dash. I told you F is nothing but total mass flow rate of the feed. 1 minus XF dash is nothing but total weight fractions of the solvent in the feed. I told you XF dash is nothing but weight fraction of the solute. So, 1 minus XF dash is nothing but weight fraction of the solvent is equal to V. This V is nothing but solvent evaporated plus L dash. This L dash is nothing but solvent in mother liquor. And finally, solvent in a hydrated crystal is given by M2 minus M1 divided by M2 into C. So, what is the meaning of this? M2, this is nothing but solute plus solvent. Okay. So, total molecular weight is in the denominator. After that, M2 minus M1, 
this is nothing but amount of the solvent because m2 is nothing but mass of the solute plus solvent and m1 is nothing but mass of the solute if i am removing mass of the solute from this total amount of m2 we will get here amount of the solvent so m2 minus m1 this is nothing but mass of the solvent because we are removing mass of the solute from this total amount of the mass that's why m2 minus m1 is nothing but mass of the solvent only and divided by total mass that is nothing but mass of the solute plus solvent into c this is nothing but mass of the crystals obtained from the crystallization unit after that rearranging the above equation we will get l dash is equal to f in bracket 1 minus x f dash minus v minus m2 minus m1 divided by m2 into c so this is nothing but mass balance for the solvent in the crystallization operation now we will see how to take material balance of the solute in a crystallization so this is the figure for a crystallization operation here we are having one inlet stream and three outlet streams so you can see on the screen this is the equation for material balance of the solute in a crystallization according to this equation you can see on the screen solute in feed is equal to solute as a product crystal plus solute in mother liquor so just put notations here now you will get like this f into xf dash is equal to c into m1 divided by m2 plus f in bracket 1 minus xf dash minus v minus m2 minus m1 divided by m2 into c into x dash now we will see meaning of this equation so f is nothing but mass flow rate of the feed xf dash is nothing but amount of the solute present in the feed or i can say weight fraction of the solute in the feed after that capital c is nothing but mass flow rate of the crystal m1 by m2 this is nothing but weight fraction of the solute or i can say m1 is nothing but molecular weight of the solute and m2 is nothing but total molecular weight that is nothing but molecular weight of the solute plus solvent after that this bracket term is nothing but l dash we have derived this term in a previous slide as well so this bracket term is nothing but your l dash after that x dash is nothing but solubility of the solute in a solvent after that if the crystals obtained are anhydrous in nature then above equation takes following form that is nothing but f into xf dash is equal to c plus f in bracket 1 minus xf dash minus v into x dash this x dash is nothing but solubility of the solute in the solvent after that v is equal to 0 means if no evaporation takes place if no evaporation takes place of the solvent at that time i can say v is equal to 0 so just put v is equal to 0 in above equation you will get like this f into xf dash is equal to c plus in bracket f in bracket 1 minus xf dash into x dash so this is nothing but derivation of the material balance of the solute we will see numerical based on the crystallization topic you can see on the screen calculate the yield of mgso4 dot 7 h2o crystals when 1000 kg saturated solution of mgso4 at 353 kelvin is equal to 303 kelvin assuming 10 percent of the water is lost by evaporation during the cooling so this is the given data for this numerical you can see on the screen solubility of mgso4 at 353 kelvin is equal to 64.2 kg per 100 kg of water this is nothing but amount of the mgso4 present in 100 kg of the water after that solubility of the mgso4 same component but at different temperature that is nothing but 303 kelvin and it is equal to the 40.8 kg per 100 kg of water and molecular weight of mg is given that is 24 for sulfur 32 for hydrogen 1 and for oxygen is equal to 16 now we will see how to solve this numerical so you can see on the screen take basis that is nothing but 1000 kg of the solution or i can say feed solution so capital f is equal to the 1000 kg and initial temperature is 353 kelvin after that xf dash this is nothing but weight fraction of the mgso4 in the feed that can be calculated by using this formula 64.2 divided by 164.2 is equal to 0 0.391 means 64.2 is nothing but amount of the mgso4 divided by total mass of the hydrated mgso4 that is nothing but mgso4 dot 7 h2o is equal to 0.391 after that you can see on the screen we will calculate water in the feed solution 
that can be calculated by using this formula f in bracket 1 minus x f dash just put the values in above equation that is equal to the 1000 in bracket 1 minus 0.391 this 0.391 is nothing but value of x f dash or I can say weight fraction of the MgSO4 in the feed solution after calculating you will get here water in the feed solution that is equal to 609 kg now we will calculate amount of the water evaporated during the crystallization so you can see on the screen v is nothing but kg of the water evaporated during the cooling or i can say crystallization that can be calculated by using this formula 609 into 0.1 is equal to 60.9 kg after that x dash this is nothing but solubility of the solute that is nothing but solubility of the mgso4 that is calculated by using this 40.8 divided by 100 kg of the water that is given in our question means solubility of the MgSO4 at 303 Kelvin is 40.8 per 100 kg of the water after that M1 this M1 is nothing but molecular weight of the MgSO4 that is nothing but 120 after that M2 M2 is nothing but molecular weight of the MgSO4 dot 7 H2O that is equal to 246 after that C C is nothing but yield of the MgSO4 dot 7 H2O crystals from the feed solution and we have to calculate this C value in this numerical. So how to calculate C we are going to see now. So you can see on the screen first we will calculate water of the crystallization that is nothing but M2 minus M1. I told you M1 is nothing but molecular weight of the solute and M2 is nothing but total molecular weight means molecular weight of the solute plus molecular weight of the solvent. So by so by using M2 minus M1 we can calculate water of the crystallization so that is nothing but 246 minus 120 is equal to 126 kg after that now we will take material balance of the MgSO4 to calculate value of the C that is nothing but yield of the crystal so you can see on the screen now we have derived this formula in a previous slides that is XF dash into F is equal to C into M1 divided by M2 plus f in bracket 1 minus x f dash minus v minus c in bracket m2 minus m1 divided by m2 into x dash. So by using this formula we can calculate value of the c that is nothing but amount of the crystal. So you can see on the screen now. Now put all required values in above equation after putting all values you will get like this 0.391 is nothing but x f dash into 1000 this 1000 is nothing but amount of f is equal to C this value we have to calculate into 120 divided by 246 so M1 is nothing but 120 and M2 is nothing but 246 plus in bracket 1000 this is nothing but F in bracket 1 minus 0.39 minus 60.9 and this 60.9 is nothing but amount of water evaporated during the cooling or I can say during crystallization minus C in bracket 126 divided by 246 so 126 is nothing but m2 minus m1 that is nothing but amount of water only in a crystallization divided by 246 this 246 is nothing but m2 or i can say total mass of the hydrated mgso4 into 40.8 divided by 100 this is nothing but x dash or i can say solubility of the mgso4 in given solution after calculation you will get this equation in this form that is nothing but 391 is equal to 0.488 C plus 609 minus 60.9 minus 0.512 C into 0.408. After calculation you will get value for the C that is nothing but answer for this question that is amount of the crystal that is nothing but 599.7 kg or I can say 600 kg. So this is nothing but answer for this question that is C is equal to 600 kg. So this question I can say material balance and its numerical can be asked for 14 marks or only material balance or only numerical can be asked for 7 marks in your exam. So this is all about this lecture we will see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much.